Hello guys, this is Sir Sam, if this channel helps you, please subscribe and leave your comments and hit the notification bell for more updated video tutorial. Thank you. Alright, uh, good day to everyone. Our topic for today is how to activate Windows or Microsoft Word. Uh, 2010 so let's go so let's open the Microsoft Word first so yan so nakita po natin uh, hindi po siya activated ayan so nakalagay po dyan 29 more days before the product becomes unlicensed so, i-activate po natin yan. So, paano po natin gagawin yan? So, samahan nyo ako guys. And, uh, close muna natin to. Okay. So, una is uh, buksan po. Una muna ay magda-download tayo. Pabuksan natin yung uh, Google Chrome. Ayan. Buksan natin yung Google Chrome. Okay. And then download po natin muna yung net framework. Ito po. So kailangan meron po tayo niyan na para ma-open po natin yung ano po yan eh MS Toolkit. Ayan, Toolkit po yan version 264 so ayan po yan so ito po ay ilalagay ko po sa link below at para mas mabilis po ninyong ma-download so copy po natin yan and then paste so ayan po yun and then click enter so re-redirect po tayo sa downloads yan net framework so click lang po natin at po itong uh, download and then magda download na po yan wait lang po natin sadya lang po talaga ang matagal <laughs> ayan Yan. So, download anyway. So, click po natin ito. 67 MB lang po yan. Download anyway. So, yan. So, nag-download na po siya. Ito po. Wait lang po natin yan and then i-install po natin yan. Kailangan po natin i-install yan para mabuksan po natin yung Microsoft Toolkit. Ayan. And then, yung atin pong Microsoft Toolkit. So, download na rin po natin yan. MS Toolkit. Version 264. Ayan. So, click po natin yan. Ayan. Nasa na siya? Nasa na? Ayan. So, click natin ulit dito. Ayun. So, ito po yan. Right click natin and then click download. Download anyway. So, ayan po yung atin pong Microsoft Toolkit. So, 
kailangan po ay naka ano po ay naka sign in yung inyo pong Google account bago nyo, bago nyo po ma-download ayan so naka sign in po alright so uh, show in folder so tingnan po natin yung atin pong na-download ng dalawa net framework and Microsoft Toolkit. So, yan close po muna natin ito. Yan para naka-focus tayo dito. So, ayan po, check po muna ulit natin. So, ayan so hindi pa siya activated. So, i-activate po natin 'yan. So, dapat ito po ay install po muna natin bago po natin extract ito. Okay? So, right click and then run as administrator and then click yes and pero dahil na na install ko na po yan kanina so hindi na po natin kailangan i-continue pa no so Hanggang, hanggang dyan lang po yan pero dapat po i-install nyo po yan anyway uh, ano, uh, full uh, installer po yan pang uh, 32-bit and 64-bit ayan po no need to worry po yan so pwede nyo pong i-install yan Alright, so tinan natin. Ayan, mag-open mag pa lang siya. No. So, uh, repair, no? Nakalagi po dyan, repair or remove. So, kasi in-install ko na po yan kanina. So, cancel na lang po natin. Yes. And then, after na ma-install po yan, ay ito pong uh, Microsoft Toolkit version 264. Uh, extract po natin right click and then, and then extract here ayan so makikita nyo po yung icon ng MS or Microsoft Toolkit so right click again and then click run as administrator so click po natin yan kailangan administrator po siya hindi siya pwedeng sa open lang po Ayan, so click natin and then click yes Ayan, habang hinihintay natin uh, shout out po sa atin pong mga subscribers salamat po at sa atin pong mga co-teachers and student yan na tumatangkilik sa atin pong tutorial ito pong uh, nakikita ninyong MS icon ito pong isa ay Windows icon so dito po tayo, click po natin ito ito pong MS icon yan, click natin and then click natin yung activation so ayan po yung Microsoft Office so click natin yung activation and then click natin easy activator so click natin yan ayan so i-configure nyo po yan ayan product activation or auto KMS was successfully installed so click naman po natin sunod is activate ayan so tapos na po Ayan, product activation successful Ayan. so successful po at pwede na po natin i-close then close na rin natin ito refresh ang konti and then test natin kung ang ating pong uh, Microsoft Office or Word is already activated mawala na po yung, yung nakita natin kanina so double click natin yan 
Ayan. So, wala na po. No? That is already activated. So, for that, thank you for watching.